Hello, here is a quick review of Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, let's try to switch it off and see how long it's gonna boot up. Just gonna press the start. Still button thirteen fourteen. It's the first boot of the device, so it's gonna be a welcome screen, I suppose. And then we, s yes. Just stop. Fine. Where is United Kingdom? Play propant. Just see. All right, so first thing you have to connect. Connect to your Wi-Fi network. Let's keep the Google account first. Make it Google. Let's just have a look. What is good to offer? Google location. All Google location. Collecting limits information. No. Use my location. Maybe not now. Can we skip that? I don't want to personalize it first. Setup complete, fine. So that's basically the initial screen with the Google and the voice search. Time, Wi Fi network. Screens one, two, three, four, five, five screens. Count press gallery live wallpaper and wallpaper. Just keep that. See how responsive screen goes really good. Okay. That's probably apps. See the res how responsive the screen, how fast the CPU is. It scrolls really fast. Let's see, for example, pictures.
torch. Shuffle the matches as well. I just want to see the gallery, for example. Apps on that steps. Fine. Let's see the gallery, for example. Not now. Just want to see. There's nothing on. Or no, there's no pictures. I'll just move quickly to the YouTube. Not now, just want to see how this device playing. Not now, it's all about personalizing. Anyway, first video, anyway. You might be wondering why I'm in this case. No, I'm going to function. It's a long story. All right, so get this. Not to live somewhere in a faraway place, thing. but to get there, we have to find. Wait for it. I'll say. Diamonds! They're pretty good. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Someone stole a dog. Just go back. Um, the Google notification bar. It's nothing for really much at the moment. Let's just go to the main screen and see what we call here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage. If you on a 3G. Not sure if that's good for G anyway, but probably VPN, NFC, Android Beam. Because it's running as uh, Jelly Bean, Android Jelly Bean. It's got all the newest function device. Let's see what. here volume system torch sound screen lock sound display we can do with the display change the tap brightness it's automatic brightness at the moment just leave it like that storage space so if you got the 16 gig tablet which this one is you only got about 13.2 gigabytes for your use because the you've got some apps installed and that's pretty much can't really there is no expansion slot for a memory
Okay, so what you've got, what you see, what you've got. reflective screen so let's say it's my oh, sound storage battery battery usage 45% left from the time I received and you haven't been on for long apps no apps running you can see how fast the quad core CPU on this tablet is it's just really smooth Uh, location services, language, and input backup reset. That's basically functions of the Jelly Bean. A bit more than I've got on my Galaxy S2. Let's we'll just have a look what's in the menu. That's Google Plus, some apps, Google Plus, location, maps, Gmail, YouTube, and so on. Chrome browser, let's just quickly have a look how the browser works. No thanks. Let's just 